All right, so this is the Rugrats theory, and the theory basically is that all the babies are dead. I don't know how this is going to play out, so let's get into it. The year is 1995. You wake up, turn on the TV, and you start watching Rugrats. And you're just happy watching Angelica be the oldest, meanest, you know, cousin. And Tommy mm -hmm. is there fighting with her. And Chucky, Tommy's best friend. And Phil and Lil, you know, they're just hammering, fighting, and trying to defeat the Reptar Cookie Monster. Or they're trying to fight the, 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 the dust bunnies and all this stuff. And then you realize, yo, these babies are part of Angelica's imagination and Angelica dies of a drug overdose. <gasps> Jesus. Yeah, we're going to talk about the Rugrats conspiracy theory on today's episode of Spooky Scary Times. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification, turn off the lights, go grab some water, and let's talk spooky stuff. You can grab coffee too, or a soda, or whatever you drink when you watch YouTube videos. There's really nothing to say that cannot be said about the 90s and the glorious Nickelodeon 90s, where we had amazing TV shows like Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Cat Dog, Keenan and Kel, all of that, Are You Afraid of the Dark? And the list goes on. The Amanda Show, which was probably one of my all-time favorite TV shows, and Amanda Bynes was my celebrity crush for many years until she lost her mind and started doing crazy stuff, and now I don't know where she is. But if you're single, now, the Rugrats conspiracy theory comes from uh, creepypastas, okay? That's where I read yep. it. That's where I heard it from uh, many, many years ago. I don't know who the actual original writer. I've been looking for who it was, but I, I couldn't really find it because many people have copied and pasted or shared it. Um, but I will share it with y'all, and we'll talk about it, and we're going to just be creeped out and ruin our childhoods forever together. So let's do this. Now, the crazy thing about this creepypasta is that all the babies that you know from the Rugrats are dead babies, and they're part of Angelica imagination and let me tell you why number one is that Chucky died at childbirth with his mom and this is why Chaz is a nervous wreck this way has really bad anxiety maybe PTSD from seeing his wife die and his, and his child died and he has depression for sure because what he went through was horrible and then we have Tommy which is probably the hero of the Rugrats and he was a stillborn dying in his mom's belly and Stu which is the father you know he's the one that's always creating the toys and building all the toys and doing all this fun stuff with toys and making toys and creating toys and you know and if you watch the Rugrats in Paris movie he goes and does the Reptar the, the big Reptar robot he's doing that because he's still in denial that his child is dead and he's oh trying to get God, dude. I, I guess he's coping with the death of the child actually I don't know but I, I it's a horrible thing to think about yeah. just the emotional mental stress that these parents are going through now, the DeVilles, Phil and Lil's parents, they had an abortion. Since Angelica didn't know the gender of Phil and Lil, she oh, created she twins. just she created, created both of them? Uh, oh Phil my god, Lil that makes because, sense. Because, you know, she didn't know what gender it was. Yeah. She was like, let me just create two babies in my imagination. Hence, all these kids, all these babies are Jesus dead. Jesus Christ. They're, they're dead. They're not real. And Angelica creates them in her imagination. The only two babies that are real is Dill, which, unfortunately, she beat to a point of a brain hemorrhage because she Wait, thought that what? it was an imaginary baby and she told all the other babies to disappear and Dill didn't. So she's like, why aren't you leaving? Bop, 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 bop. Oh my and god, then that is so The parents fucked. came and were like, what the hell are you doing? That's my child. And she's like, oh my god, what did I do? And Dill stayed um, not okay for the rest of the remainder of the series. And the only other baby that is real is Susie. She has the yellow dress, the pigtails, ponytails, I think pigtails, and she's a black girl, a uh, black little girl, and she's the only one that's real. And the, and the conspiracy has it is that she knew of Angelica and her situation and what happened. And she's the one that went to Nickelodeon and pitched this story of Angelica and the babies oh and God. calling Rugrats. And Nickelodeon was like, yeah, let us get that story together. And I until years later, the conspiracy of Angelica came out and they're like, oh, this is the real story behind Rugrats, which is kind of creepy. This is, that is true. So now you think the conspiracy up, ends there where it doesn't. Shit. It gets worse. You know, it's so fucked up that we watch this shit. Like, seriously, dude. Like, when we don't ever think about it when we're fucking kids, but th this is so deep and dark and if you're, if you're 
I know if I was a parent and I knew this shit, I probably wouldn't want my kids watching this shit. Like, what the fuck? It gets much creepier. It gets so much more sad. Angelica was a crack baby because her real mom was a crackhead. She was a drug addict. And we never see her because Angelica's dad remarries to this very, I guess, uh, rich, very controlling mother, possessive mother, uh, or, or wife, stepmom, Angelica's stepmom. And Angelica's real mom died of a drug overdose. But the crazy thing is that for the whole series, from I think I don't, I don't remember if all growing up you see the, the doll Cynthia now Cynthia looks like a crackhead let me tell you something conspiracy has it story has it legend has it that Cynthia is what this looks inch. like Angelica's yeah. real mother and this is why Angelica is so attached wow. to this baby because she sees her mother this is her mother's spinning image of her mother you know with the hair missing and and the dress looks all flunzy and nasty and her her skin looks like it's deteriorating yeah yeah, her mom was a crackhead and because of that Angelica was born you know she met the father which I if you really ask what the hell was the father doing with a crackhead as a wife? I don't know. Yeah. But Angelica was born, and then, and then she was a crack baby. Meaning, if you don't know anything about crack babies, is that they have crack in the blood. So they're kind of yeah, addicts they're... to crack once they're born. Let us do some quick research. Okay, so I was wrong. A crack baby is a baby who is not strong and healthy at birth, and whose mother used crack cocaine while she was pregnant. A sign of a newborn drug withdrawal of depends. Yo, I'm literally reading about crack babies, and and yo, crack babies can actually experience withdrawals of the dr of the drugs because they're not consuming the drugs anymore. So that means they they have drugs in their system. Jesus this is Christ, crazy. This probably explains so why Angelica so always agitated yeah, and mad and, 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 and hurt and bitter because she's probably going through withdrawals. And I she's mean, imagining maybe not because she's three years old babies, in, the, in the, the TV series, but probably she's, she's probably still going craving crack. What the fuck? Doing some research is really. Oh my god, my. I'm out. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> this is this 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 conspiracy theory got so much more uh, dark. It got it got really dark. So I'm sorry if I ruined your life. So Angelica was a crack baby. That is interesting. So not only is Angelica a crack baby, okay? She's obsessed with the Cynthia doll because that's how her real mom looked like. She has a mom that's controlling, a stepmom that's controlling, and it's very possessive and demanding. She has her dad that kind of does whatever the heck Angelica wants and does whatever his wife w does or wants. And then there's, oh my God, this gets interesting. And then all the babies are dead. So she has no friends. She beats up Dill. She has Susie, which is wow. probably her other friend, but they don't see each other that much because they're not family and then she has these imaginary babies and then the fact that Angelica got older and then we have the all grown up series which is a, a, a TV spin-off of the Rugrats with her grown up and they're probably in their teens or 13 14 years old and then if I'm not mistaken and the crazy thing about this series is that or this timeline is that once Angelica got older she couldn't really channel the babies or summon the babies so she had to do crack cocaine she had to do drugs to make the babies appear again and oh generate the babies God. in her imagination again this is freaking dark and the crazy thing is that she would be talking interacting with these babies and everybody would be like what the hell are you talking about and dead, Angelica was dude. kind of a laughing stock at the school and everybody was like why is she talking to herself she was always high she was always looking weird she she was she was on crack she was literally going the same footsteps as her mom and unfortunately Angelica's life ends as a drug overdose in the back of the cafeteria as all the babies around her just watch her die in overdose and then Susie hears about the story, takes it to Nickelodeon, and Nickelodeon creates the Rugrats. I might have ruined your life, like that I ruined mine a couple of years so ago, but this is up. such an amazing storytelling aspect of taking perspective of what was the Rugrats and saying like, hey, let's make Angelica a crackhead and the babies are just her imagination and they're dead. This is a very sad, dark, scary story. Uh, I won't say it's like scary, like all this weird stuff, but it's just scary as like, it could be happening. This could be real. Oh my God, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this conspiracy theory. I might have a couple of more conspiracy theories uh, coming out. Through yeah, guys, that is absolutely insane. Um, wow. I just can't even believe that they write shows like this with this hidden meaning and show it to kids. It is <laughs> so fucked up. But yeah, if you like this, make sure to drop a like. Drop a follow, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.